everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy, back with a new quick win on how to capture audio and video files inside your Ionic app and also how to store and then play those local files within your app. So I've started a blank new Ionic app and the first thing we need to do is install a few NPM packages and Cordova plugins. So um, let me fill in these while I talk about them. So uh, we need the media capture plugin, uh, which will help to record audio and video material. Um, then we need, <coughs> sorry, Ionic native media, um, which we need to um, play our uh, audio files. And then we need Ionic native files, so the general file plugin um, to move some assets around and to get uh, the right URLs. So um, playing those local video files is a bit tricky and therefore um, it took me quite a while to come up with a solution but I think uh, what I got is quite nice. So um, make sure to import all the three of them right here inside your app module and also we need the Ionix storage module because we will save the files or uh, not the files, but the reference to the files within the native uh, Ionic storage module. So make sure to add the Ionic storage module for root to your imports and media capture, media and file go to the array of providers. So now our app is set up, um, but you might already know this, we're using a few Cordova plugins, so we can't run this app uh, on the browser, or we can, but it won't work. So we need to deploy this to our devices. And to deploy this to iOS, uh, we need to add a little change to the config XML. So go to the bottom and insert something like this. Uh, let's add some space, okay. So we need to define keys for the plist for the Xcode project, um, NS camera usage and microphone usage. So these descriptions will end up in our info plist. They will be merged in. So um, our app will run and will display this message once we try to access camera or the phone. All right. So that's all for the configuration and uh, let's head over to home HTML and TS for the actual code. So from this side, um, it's not really much we have to do right here. But first let's start by adding a few buttons within the ion row perhaps. Um, button, ion button, perhaps full button. And on click, we will call capture audio, which will start the audio capturing process. So the same for the second button, but now capture uh, video and capture video. Okay, those are the buttons for the functions. And then we will also add a little list where we display the files that we got inside the Ionic storage. So we will iterate um, over our media files. Um, the item should be tappable because it's not a button, but just an item. And we want to be able to play with the file. And also sometimes the name is a bit long, so add text wrap right here. And we will just use file name, which is the original name of the file and also file.size and let's convert it to megabytes and use the uh, number pipe to format it um, and perhaps add megabyte. Finally, the audio playing works quite nice, but for the video, um, the current Cordova plugin for the video player is not really working, so I picked the HTML5 video controls and a little workaround to get this working is um, adding the ID and 
grabbing it from our ts file by using at view child notation so my video will be my video of the type any and of course we need to import view child so now we can access this and later fill in the actual video source for that video um, additionally we might define a key uh, which we can use in multiple places to access the storage let's say this is media files and then we need a few imports we need media capture which is the media capture from ionic native we need um, the storage which comes from nope not that come on okay no auto imports so let's fix this all right ionic storage then we got media which should have an auto import yes uh, nope not really media from at ionic native media where is it hmm. okay and this is of course storage so add media from ionic native media and this is storage and finally i think we needed the file so auto import file and that's it all right so within the ion view did load we will try to get the saved information from the storage so we call get with our media files key media files key and then we will perhaps get a result in the beginning this also might be null so uh, let's have a new array media files right here and set this to the result but we will save it as a string so we need to parse this back using json parse um, on the result or if the result is null we want to set it to an empty array so this is the quick syntax for this switch now we implemented the functions where is it capture audio and also capture video all right um, then we had the play file or just call it play with a file and finally uh, we need a way to store media files so these are the functions we need to fill out so let's start with capture audio this is the most easiest of those so use media capture and then we see the options so we could also capture an image but we use audio and video which is a bit more interesting i think so we get a result back and we will simply use our store media files for this because we can use it in another place as well for capture video um, it's a bit different so first of all let's also uh, define some options so we can define options for those plugins um, those would be uh, capture video options but i guess it's not yet here um, should be from this package and now you could say something like limit so only one video and the maximum duration uh, perhaps 30 seconds whatever you like and then you can use the capture video function and just pass the options to the function um, the result will be media files so media file and the result is an array of those files um, no it's the other way around of course and perhaps like this 
So in this case here, it's also the same. We just added a few more types. So what we get here will be an array, although we will only have one file here. Anyway, it's an array. Um, perhaps uh, we start with a store because this is a bit easier. Um, to store the files, we just get the current media files we just stored. And with the result, we can check if they're already stored. And if not, we can simply set the media files, um, media files key to the new files. But as I said before, we want to stringify our array. So use JSON stringify on the files. If we already got an array, uh, we need first of all the actual array from the information. So parse it back to an array and then simply use concat on that array with our new files. So they will be appended and then we can use this function just like before, but with a new array which contains both the old information and the new information. Finally, uh, after all this, we should add the new files to our current media files. So use a concat here as well with the new files and then we're good. Um, now back to the capture video. So you might think everything would work now, but in the play block, um, we have to distinguish, of course, between um, the file name and if the file is a audio file or video file. So I will just make a super easy um, if else. So if it's an audio file, it's pretty easy to play the audio file. So we can create a new media object. Um, I think this comes from the media package. Yep, and create a new object um, by using this.media uh, create, which opens a media file, and then use my file local URL. So we will inspect those objects with a name and file later, perhaps at a block here. So play my file. And then we can use this audio file to simply call, guess what, play. But as I said, for the video, it's different. Um, the URLs did not work, the player did not work, the access was denied, so I had to come up with a way. And the way now is that at this point, um, when well, this is the video source, or perhaps I don't need this, um, first of all, we grab our my video native element and then we say video.source is my file.local URL. All right, so this will set the URL for our video tag for my video and hopefully show the video and play it. But before we can use it like this, we need a little transformation on the URL of our captured media files. So for the capture video, we can remove this for now and start with the transformation. So let's say we just want to use the first captured video because we also say it's a limit of one. And then we can grab the file name, which is actually uh, directly in here. Perhaps we also add a lock here, my file, uh, captured file, so we can see the imports. Then we need um, to fix the path a bit. This might be a bit uh, tricky. So we use the local URL and split this up using the slashes. Then we pop up the last element because we don't need it. And then we set them back together. Um, so uh, 
we can simply call join and we join them with a slash again so now the from directory is cleaned um, the to directory is actually simply of the file the data directory of our app and now we can copy the media file into our app folder and then we can use it to play it within our video tech so as i said not really clear uh, not super easy but in the end it finally works so call copy file and then we need a few params so the pass is the from directory where the current file is the file name is of course the file name where do we want it to go to directory and again the new file name can also be the old one so then we get back something hopefully and now this URL will be uh, like file with three slashes and then something and still this was not working so again a minor change to fix the URL so uh, it should be right here and we replace um, with a little regular expression file uh, and then oh come on with nothing so this should replace the URL and then we can finally go back and use our stored media files function remember it expects an array so we need to put our new element into that array uh, and we fake the parameters a bit so name size should be of the captured file size and the local url is now the final url we built together okay perhaps i will add a lock here as well so we can see some more locks once we play this but that's it so far and now you have to run this on your simulator or preferred device so let's do this and check out how the app looks like okay before starting it um, i actually changed something because i noticed again strange behavior so um, back in our capture function where we copy the file actually it's enough once we've copied it to our directory to store simply the name and the size which is uh, what we want to display and in the play file later on um, also i forgot about adding this so index of was not really working so make sure you got this at this point we create the path simply by using the current data directory and the name and then replacing the stuff and then setting the url um, the reason is this directory might change so our app directory um, gets a new ID sometimes and we don't want to use the full path to a file including this directory name so therefore we simply uh, get this directory name from Cordova and only add our <coughs> um, sorry file name uh, same behavior like we had some time ago for image copy um, also, of course, you can find all this code on the uh, according quick win, which is linked below this video on the page of the Ionic Academy. So now let's check out what we got here. Um, let's try by adding capture audio. So the app would like to access my microphone. Hello, this is a test. Okay, and let's play it. Ah, okay. You can't hear it because it's connected to my computer. Um, anyway, the audio will play on your device. Um, let's also try to capture a video. Now it would like to access the camera. So those were the strings we added to our config XML. Um, and then perhaps, oh, this is a crazy effect. But let's record a bit of it and parse it let's use this video and now we see the second entry in our list uh, let's use it and there it is our video played 
within the video tag right below uh, using the HTML5 controls. And of course, you could now add a few more. Um, so let's unplug it and perhaps if I play the audio. Hello, this is a test. Yes, this was the audio recorded. So both are working, both on the recorded audio file and also the local video file of our app. So this is the end because we achieved what we wanted. Um, we can capture audio, we can capture video. For video, I also added this copy mechanism that will copy the video file to our app directory. And then we can have this switch to see if it's an audio file or video file. Either use the media object to play audio or just use the HTML tag to display a video. If you have any questions, just let me know. And of course, make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com where this quick win is hosted. But inside the Ionic Academy, you will find a lot more videos, courses and a great community. So check it out and I will see you inside the next video. Have a great day and take care.